Hey guys, it's Avian NSC vlog and week number four. So I am just gonna uh, make a little review about what I purchased on Amazon this past week. So the first review is my ring, my selfie ring light. I really love it. As I in front of me right now, I'm actually using it to my advantage. This uh, lighting. This light setting is on level one. This one here is level two and you have level three. So I'm gonna turn it back on one because I feel that one, that level one is just enough for me. Um, I'd give this rating like a five out of five because I mean, it's so durable. It's a nice clip onto your phone and you can even use it, you know, like to any other electronic devices like a tablet or any other size of like iPhones or other phones. Um, it's also great because it has like a, a USB charger. So you can actually plug this ring light into your camera or into like a little um, adapter to the wall outlets. And it has three settings to like adjust your brightness if you ever wanted to. And you can even clip this ring light to your front or your back camera. Either one works, whatever it makes you happy. Um, the other purchase that I got was the Adolescence textbook, uh, the 15th edition. Let me just show that to you right now. It looks like this. Uh, currently, I'm on the first chapter because that's still good for homework. And... Um, even though if it's a used textbook, I still would give that a five out of a five through the Amazon purchase because I mean like, it's a good price, you know, who doesn't like a good price? And um, it's the 15th edition, which I totally needed for my online class. And it has no errors, um, no scratches or what, or anything of that. It's a little bent, but I mean, that's okay. As long as I can read the whole textbook, then I'll be fine. Um, I also wanted to add today a review of a Thai food place this past week, which I went to. This place was called Sam Dry Garden. Um, it's based in the village of Mangi Lao, and it's actually about five minutes of driving and walking distance from the University of Guam. First off, I was able to order by phone what I wanted. I did take a look at the menu through Yelp, but the basics that I was able to order was uh, green curry, spring rolls, and pad thai. So we're driving there, we get to the place, and she mentioned that it's $28. And it's a great benefit here on Guam that they don't have any taxes. So it was just $28 straight. Unfortunately though, she only accepted cash, but it was a good thing that I had like $30 enough for the whole meal to cover. Like I said, it was $28 for three items and including those three items was an additional box. And I didn't know what that additional box was, but it was actually like a box of rice, which is really nice. So. I would go back for the green curry just because it was spicy. It did give off that herby flavor that I wanted. Word of advice, if you are in Guam, make sure you always bring cash on you because you never know. If you ever you know, order from a local place, you don't know if they will accept cash or card. I really hope you enjoyed this video, this review. Check out Samjai Garden and take a look at it on Yelp first. Take a look at the menu so that you know your options before you go there or make a call to do a pickup. Hey guys, so I actually wanna share with you a few things that I have observed over this past week. Um, I went to the University of Guam's library and it was a small library actually. Um, compared to my home campus at University of Hawaii. Um, we actually have two 
libraries on campus. The first library is called the Sinclair Library and that library is maybe like four or five stories high including like different sections and different rooms in that library. A nice perk about it would be like um, you can take in food if you wanted to and especially with the University of Guam's library there's only one but you can take in food over there too. Their building itself is quite small. I think it's two stories high. Yeah, it, it was two stories high. Um, super cute. They do have like study areas, like individual cubicles. Um, and it was cool to see like a free charging station where you can put uh, your phone inside and like lock it while it charges. There was also printers and I actually saw uh, a micro printer. It was like a 3D micro printer and I thought that was cool to film as well. Not many things to really like look at in that library except some cool pictures and artifacts that I've seen, some wooden carvings and sculptures as well. And back at the uh, back at my home campus, we have two libraries. Uh, like I mentioned, the Sinclair. It's almost as similar as uh, UG's because you can take in food. There's resources available to you. Only difference is the uh, amount of space. And um, the second library that we have uh, back at my home campus is called Hamilton Library. Now that library at home was. Uh, I think that one is five stories high and it's super huge um, there's also like a Hawaiian room where you have to like put your things down like put your backpack down before you enter because it's such like a strict prohibited access like if like you know what I mean good thing about it is that you can actually um, make your own calls. They have like this cool old-fashioned telephone and I've used it a couple times because um, I still haven't Purchased a sim card at Here in Guam yet, so I don't have a 671 area code number because I'm still with like 808 uh, phone company so Yeah People are really nice there, especially the staff, because they kind of know me now because I've been in and out, in and out, making phone calls that I need to. Because you know, like one one minute per call, or for one call, each minute is 25 cents here, since it's international. So uh, take a look at my videos for the library that I vlogged and I hope you guys like it. Okay, thank you!